Good afternoon, Camels, and welcome to the virtual tour of the brand new Student Union Building on our campus. Uh, this is something that started a long time ago. It started as a dream, and today we're here to show you that the dream is a reality. Uh, how long ago? Well, at least five years ago. This was on the agenda as I came here to be the new president. And um, there were two rather outdated buildings on this site, uh, Residence Hall's Kitchen in Baldwin that had um, window units in them. And the first time I saw those, I said, those two buildings have to go. They're gone and this is here. Some would say that uh, campus has been talking about this since the 1970s, and that's when I was in college. So there've been a lot of hopes and dreams, prayers, uh, dedicated efforts, hard work, and generous and selfless contributions from our friends, our donors, and our alumni. One in particular that's made this possible along with the others was the lead gift from Oscar N. Harris, uh, one of our trustees and a 1965 graduate. On January the 28th of this year, Oscar uh, suddenly and tragically passed away, uh, leaving great sadness in all of our hearts. But we're pleased today to tell you that this building is named for him in his honor. So this is the Oscar N. Harris Student Union Building. And uh, I'm personally very pleased about that because of the kind of man that he was and the contributions that he made to Campbell and the legacy that he leaves. So I join his family, the Manuses, and many others today in celebrating this occasion. And so Oscar's gifts, along with more than 3,000 other donations of interested people like you have made this possible. So we're gonna take a tour today. Uh, you're going to see it for the first time. It's amazing, but I'll let you experience that for yourself. And uh, we're on Facebook Live, so if you have comments or questions, type those in, and we will address those as we go. So follow me as we go this way. I wanna introduce you to our host for the tour. Over here are two of our students who are going to be leading the way today. First of all, Aaron Schnoor. Aaron, wave at the people here. Howdy. And then we have Brittany Wortham. Hey, Go ahead, Brittany, and wave at them. And uh, I'm going to turn it over to them. Thank you for joining us today. It's all yours. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Aaron Schnoor. I just finished my junior year here at Campbell, majoring in Trust and Wealth Management and Economics. And I'll be serving as the student body president this upcoming year. Hey y'all, my name is Brittany Wortham. I'm currently a senior, I'm about to graduate in a week, and my major was biology with a chemistry minor, and I'll be working with Aaron today to help you guys give, give a tour of the new student union. Awesome, let's go check it out. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Thank you, Gladys, thank you, Gaylord. Thank you. We're gonna stop in with Dr. Bazemore first. Dr. Bazemore, how are you? I'm fine, Aaron, how are you? Good, I'm would you mind? Introducing yourself and just telling us something about this space. Okay, I'm Dennis Baysmore, the Vice President for Student Life, and you are now in the Great Hall of the Student Union. This is really what I consider the welcoming center of this beautiful building. It both has a grand entrance out on Academic Circle and another on Leslie Campbell Avenue. There's also an information desk here that students and faculty, staff, and others will be able to get great information about things that are taking place on our campus. And then this great hall opens up into all kinds of amenities and various parts of this facility on both floors. You'll see nice seating here where students and faculty and staff can enjoy meeting together here, making it a place to connect, and spending some wonderful times here in this great hall of the Student Union. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Bazemore. All right, so we're just gonna walk this way and show you guys the new oasis. Um, as you can see, it's very upgraded, very upgraded um, seating for the waste you see the seating right here. Um, we've got new um, things in the kitchen. And we're just going to keep walking. And you can see outside, we still have a wonderful view of the academic circle. And I'm just going to walk into the Oasis sitting area and talk to one of our cab members about the Oasis. Hey, guys. Hey. Can you just tell us more about the Oasis seating area? Yeah, and oh, and all welcome. That? This, where we are right now, it's pretty much a lounging area for students. Um, you can come do homework, grab a sandwich from Oasis, some ice cream, a milkshake, you know. Um, come out and hang out, do homework, watch movies, play games with friends. It's pretty much a lounging area just because we don't have many lounging areas on campus, as you know. So you don't have to come in here and be quiet like the library. And there's plenty of outlets so you can plug your phone in, plug your laptop up, and just enjoy. That's cool. Yeah. Um, 
Could you tell us more about like the male options for the Oasis as well? Um, so Maybe it's pretty much classic Oasis, you know, the famous sandwiches, yeah, you always yeah, have yeah. the beverages and snacks. And um, now I know we're having ice cream to mm -hmm. occur, oh, so yeah, so it's pretty much the same thing. Oh, that's cool. yeah. Um, so yeah, you can see the new seating options. My favorite part about this is the seating options. Yes, honestly. I love it. We have nice chairs. <laughs> um, so it just feels like it's just a bigger area than Absolutely. Um, so yeah, could you tell us about your favorite part about this room? Um, my favorite part, I probably say the waterfall. It's a water feature. It's not turned on now, but when it is turned on, the water will fall down and it'll be a nice little stream. So I enjoy like I enjoy that. Thank you. No Thank problem. You so Thank you for coming. Um, Alright. So now that we've seen the oasis, let's go over to the main dining hall, Gail's kitchen. And we'll meet up with my good friend Blake Phillips there. And as we walk over, I do want to point out one thing. There are quite a few recycling bins here in our new student union, and this is something that a lot of students have requested. We're just trying to be a greener campus, and uh, it's, really, it's really awesome and impressive to see all those recycling bins that we have. Um, and as Isis mentioned, we have a lot of good food options over here. Pretty much, you'll have your classic sandwiches station, uh, you'll have milkshakes, you'll have sodas, ice cream as well, as Isis also mentioned. And over here, on the other side of the Great Hall, we have the main dining hall. And this is where we'll meet Blake Phillips, and he'll tell us a little bit about Gaylord's Kitchen. Hey Blake, how are you? Hey Aaron, I'm doing good. So, I'm Blake Phillips, I am your student body vice president, and I am standing in front of Gaylord's Kitchen here. So, uh, come on Aaron, let's come in and let's take a look. Let's do it. Alrighty, so right here, we have hand-stretched pizzas. So, it's probably one of my favorite parts of the dining hall. I don't know, maybe Aaron's too. I, think I love pizza. Big pizza guy. Yeah, and so behind it, we'll have the traditional Campbell Grill. And so, of course, Cheeseburger Joe will remain, so he will be back over here. I know that's, that's awesome. a classic that a bunch of people were asking about. So, we'll be over here. Yeah, come on. All right, so we have our barbecue station here. We will have Daily Smoke Barbecue uh, right here and the little smokers right there. So that'll be really good. Who doesn't love a good barbecue sandwich? Love barbecue. All right, and then so we'll actually we'll come on this way. And Aaron, aren't these chairs just so cool? They really are. I sort of want to test them out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a great place just for students to interact. Blake, you know, we see each other quite a bit doing SGA work on campus, so I think we're going to be able to come here, have some meals together, yeah. breakfast, lunch, and then just go upstairs, work out in the gym, or go to our office. Uh, I'm really excited about that. Yeah, so Aaron and I have decided that we're going to go work out at 6 a.m., and then we're going to come here and eat breakfast, and then we're going to get a jump start on our day and go to our 8 a.m. So if that okay. actually comes right. to fruition, we'll see. Probably not, but, you know, that's what we're thinking. That's right. Maybe right. first day of class, we'll do it. We're going to leave that to you, too, and we'll see you later in the day. <laughs> Sounds good. Alrighty, so we have our Italian kitchen here, so we have all sorts of pastas and everything that'll be there because who doesn't love some good carbs? Um, <laughs> then we have our southern kitchen, where, is, where we will find uh, you know, pork chops, anything like that. Um, so more of your traditional you know, Campbell food that you may remember from Marshbanks, that'll be in the southern kitchen. And then we have our global station, so the global station will actually rotate uh, countries weekly. And so that would be really neat. So you might have you know, Mexican one week and Italian or something like that. Um, and then we have our all-day breakfast bar here. And then we have our produce station and our deli as well. So that pretty much wraps this is up exciting. Yeah. Gaylord's Kitchen. Tried yeah. to get Gaylord to make me a sandwich earlier, but he was too busy playing games over there in the Oasis. I'm not sure what's yeah. up with that. You know, a lot of great seats in here, a lot of areas for students just to interact and hang out. I know that we'll also have seating outside so that students will be able to just sit outside, lounge on the patio. I'm really, really excited about that. As you can see, this dining hall is quite large. It's got just as many seats as Marsh Banks, but even more space. So it's a little more spread out. Um, you can have some quiet time and study if you need to, or you can hang out with friends, whether that's inside or outside. So we're both really, really excited about that. Yeah, yep. All right, now that we've seen the dining hall, we're going to go over to the other side of the Great Hall and see the game room. Yep, so we're just going to walk right back to the Great Hall. Um, as you can see, in the Great Hall, we still have some more really, really good seating areas under the stairs, beside the stairs. Um, I really love the variety of the chairs I might add. Yeah. Because they're really, really pretty. Um, and also, against these little poles right here, we have outlets. So if you want to come in here and hang with some of your friends, um, you want to study in here, you just want to talk and chill, but your phone's about to die or your computer's about to die, you can just plug it into the outlets and the poles. And so, yeah, it's a very, very nice wide area for you to chill. You won't feel too stuck up beside people or anything like that, so it's pretty nice. Really, really nice. So we're just gonna keep walking through this hallway right here. As to the left, 
you can see we have these really, really nice meeting rooms along with the more seating areas. And the cool thing about these meeting rooms is that you can actually um, reserve these rooms digitally. So right beside each one of these rooms, they have these digital type of things that you can do. So just like in the library we have now where you can reserve it online, you can reserve it in here if you want to have a room to yourself or with the study group or anything like that. Awesome. I'm really excited about these meeting rooms. I think this will be a great place just to hang out and study. Um, you can see that we have quite a few meeting rooms on this side. And I know I heard that we had a couple comments about social distancing. Um, as this is Facebook Live, people can give their live feedback. And we are trying to be mindful of social distancing and not get too close. It's a little hard as we tour around this building, um, but we will definitely uh, be mindful about that and follow the practices of social distancing. We do have a few questions. Awesome. Um, uh, Michelle Gagne is asking where will people pay for, pay for their meals? And uh, we have a couple questions from people asking what is going to happen to Marsh Banks. All right, so as far as paying for meals goes, we didn't quite show it, but on the left side of Gaylord's Kitchen, there's a little table or desk right there where people will be able to swipe in for their meals and go and pay for their food when they get it. Yep, and it's just like if you want to get a meal plan, you can use your meal plan to pay just like for any other place on campus. You're still using your meal plan to pay for your food here. That's exactly right. Yep, and with Marsh Banks, I don't know for certain what's going to happen to Marsh Banks. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think it's been determined. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. To be certain. determined. Maybe, yeah. Maybe Marsh <laughs> Banks determined. will survive, but I don't think its future has been determined yet. Well, those are great questions. Those are really yeah. Keep right. asking your questions and we will answer them as, uh, as this goes. We will. All righty. Okay, so now we're here in like the gaming type of area. And can you just talk to us about it? So the gaming center will have two pool tables, two foosball tables, an uh, air hockey table, uh, air bu I mean a hockey bubble table, and a bunch of other um, gaming here. So we'll have a claw machine that will have camel prizes in it where you can win stuffed camels and camel t-shirts. And we'll have a table where you can play card games, board games, and so it'll be really fun for students to come hang out, let some steam off after being in the study rooms. And it'll be also be a place for guests to come here and entertain themselves while they're waiting for a tour or an event. I think it's a really good addition to campus life now because we've never had this type of like game situation. Yeah. I agree. And I think one really cool aspect of this room is that on the other side of this wall right here is the oasis, which we just showed you at the first part of our tour. So if you want to come and, as Anna said, blow off some steam and just relax, you can come to this game room. But because we have this partition here, it won't be too loud for the people studying on the other side in the oasis. Um, so it's, it's just a really great use of space here. And I'm really excited to see students using it in full. We'll definitely have to come back and show them what it looks like with everything yeah. completed in the <laughs> screens. Nice. So you can Justin, see right here where these are going to Justin happen. Baird is asking, uh, can we see the gym, please? Yes, oh. that is actually where we're going next. We're going to go straight into the gym and see Ashley. Um, Ashley is a Group X instructor, so we're going to start in the Group X room, actually. Uh, Alexis is asking, do you have to pay to play the games? It's a great question, and I don't actually know the answer to that. We don't think so. We don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out for you, Alexis. All right, so we're going to go into the gym here. Hey, Gaylord. Hey, Gladys. All right, Ashley, would you tell us? Just who you are, what you do on campus, and just a little bit about this whole space. Yeah, of course. So my name is Ashley. Um, I've worked for Campus Rec for about three years now. I've worked on the outdoor team, going off campus on adventures. Um, but my favorite part is Group X. So I teach several Group X classes, and this is our new Group X room. We offer classes such as yoga, spin, pound, um, kickboxing, lots of cool things, and I'm so excited for this new space. Awesome. So we're gonna walk this way and check out the space a little bit more. One great feature about the space, you'll notice that there are these uh, punching bags here, but when you're walking classes, these actually can be moved. So you can move them to one side or the other, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. Um, I love the aspect of it. So this is a very multi-purpose room, and it can be used for many different activities. Yes. Definitely. All yeah, right, so, so we're just gonna keep walking this way and show you guys back to the gym. There are definitely going to be other places to work out. We're about to show you, Becky. <laughs> right. Okay, so this is our two-story gym. It's the first story, second story is up here. As you can see, we have a lot of new state of our equipment, a lot of equipment for everyone to be able to use it at the same time. Um, see, we got some weights and all that stuff. We got Gaylord over here, just working out. Get it, get it. 
Yep, yeah, so this is the first floor. The second floor is exactly the same. It looks the exact same way, um, except on the second floor they have more treadmills and all that um, state-of-the-art equipment, but it's basically the same look as this. And while you're working out, you can still have a really, really good view of Leslie Campbell Avenue, which is pretty nice. Yeah, as Brittany mentioned, we do have that second floor. We won't be going up there right now, but there are treadmills, ellipticals, cardio machines up there. So we're really excited about that as well. Um, but it's just a great space. There's a lot of room in here, a lot of different machines. Um, it, it won't be too crowded, and I, I think you know, we're going to see a lot of students using it, which is great, but I don't think it will feel too crowded when you do come and use it. Definitely. William Fernandez is asking, what is the heaviest dumbbell available? Wow. All right, William Fernandez. <laughs> Let's go find really out. Right. Let's go check it out. This gym is in addition to the one in Gore, and the Carter space, as far as we know, is going to stay the same. Um, but since the school is growing at a rather rapid pace compared to the amount of fitness space available, this will be here as another wow. option. All right, Gladys and Gaylord are telling us the heaviest dumbbell is 120 pounds. And we are struggling with it. <laughs> <laughs> and we will sanitize it after we touch it. <laughs> All right. I will not be using those weights. I won't either. I, mean, I will, will probably be sticking around like the 15. Right. You, you know, got, 15 pounds. 10, that's, that's good. All right. 10 maybe. <laughs> but that's yes. a great question. And will the other current workout gyms still exist? Have we answered that? Yes. Okay. yes. We have some parking questions that we're going to try and find answers for y'all before the end of this tour. Yep. And we have the restrooms right here as well. If you need to change. Right, Thank so you, now, Cora. Now we're just going to head back into the Great Hall and start heading um, across the way. Thank you. All right. Okay, so now we're back in the Great Hall, of course, and now we're going to head over to the campus store and talk to Jacob. Hey, Mariana. Hey, Jacob. Would you just introduce yourself and yes. tell us a little bit about the campus store? Absolutely. So, welcome to the Bazaar Campus Store. My name is Jacob Clark, and I will be serving as your SGA Executive Chief of Staff, and come on in. Wow, it's beautiful in here. It is. So, the, bar, the bazaar is going to be home to all of the Campbell apparel, gifts, accessories. Um, we're not stocked yet, but we will be stocked and ready to go in the fall. That's awesome, Jacob. Yeah. And this wow. will not be the bookstore. This is the campus like apparel store. Right, that's right. Wow. Spirit wear, wear but uh, not, not the bookstore, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I really love, there's a, a quote that goes along the top of the wall, that's and right. I really love that. That's a great touch to this, this room. We have very Campbell-specific things here, where we breakfast at midnight. Where bacon day is a holiday. Where Christmas trees go up in November. <laughs> it's awesome. It's a great, a great quote. So it just adds to the, the touch of this room. Pretty cool. Awesome. All right, Jacob, well, thank you for showing us. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We appreciate it. Yeah. All right, so we're going to keep going down this great hall right here. I want to make a pit stop at the welcome desk and just check that out. Thanks, Jacob. Absolutely. All right, so right here is the welcome center. So this is where you would go if you have any questions of where, um, if you have any questions on where anything is in the um, student union. Um, and so, yeah, there are going to be two people working yeah. here. You can see this very nice and this light fixture. this lights up. Oh. You can turn it off, turn it back on. It's pretty cool. So if you have any questions about the building or where things are, yep. there will be workers stationed here during the school year, and they can answer any of those questions. Good. All right, now we're going to go up the main staircase here. Uh, this, is, this is a part of the building that I'm really excited about. I just love the staircase and the view at the top of the staircase. So just get ready for that. It's pretty amazing. Like you said, the view upside, um, on the upside of this staircase is probably my favorite part of this building, to be honest. Um, there's so there's... much distance <laughs> when you walk up these stairs. That's right. <laughs> you might lose some calories Shout going up these to stairs. Shout camera but... person, Kate Stone. Yeah, thank right. you. Right. Yeah, having thanks, to walk friends. stairs and this. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are at the top of the staircase. So as you can see, there's another great area here for students just to sit, relax, hang out. I've tried out a few of these chairs already. Um, they're very comfortable, so I know I'm going to be using them quite a bit in the fall. But this is a great place to study, or if you need to relax and rest, you can do that as well, and just look out on Academic Circle. Yeah. Definitely going to do that. Pretty exciting. 
One cool thing about this building that I want to mention too is we have more than just this one great view. We're going to see another great view in just a second. And we're going to walk over here and, and meet Dr. Davis um, and check out the theater area and the snack bar. Dr. Davis, how are you? I'm doing good, Aaron. Brittany, how are you guys good. doing? Hey, everybody. I'm Britt. Good to see you today. And so you've been looking around at everything in this place. Right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is a pretty cool area among lots of cool areas in this building. But uh, this is the Camel Smoothie Bar and Refreshment Stand. Lots of space to kind of hang out up here, as you can see. But this is also the entrance to our movie theater, which uh, is the only theater of its type in this area, and uh, an area where I know all of the students are going to want to be. So um, there's been a lot of buildup on this area. Oh, running into a chair. <laughs> having my Dick Van Dyke moment, if anybody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> but uh, come over here, take a look. I know this is not up and running, but I was just over here a minute ago. So you've got uh, your smoothie bar, you've got your ice cream freezers here, popcorn maker, the uh, hot dog rotisserie back there, self-serve soda fountains. And uh, just adjacent to this, sort of slightly off the movie theater topic, we also have additional uh, conference rooms that students can reserve and uh, open area spaces here. James Christopher is asking, will the Chick-fil-A be moved in here? Okay, that's a great question, James Christopher. Will the Chick-fil-A be moved into the student union? The answer to that is no, not at this time. It will still remain in Britt Hall, which is just adjacent to uh, the, the student union. And we've had a, uh, Oni Graham wants to make sure there are elevators. We just didn't show them. Oh, that's a, uh, Oni, what a great question. Yes, there are elevators. In fact, there's two sets of elevators in the student union. We'll walk by some of them on our yeah, way downstairs. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's go on into the movie theater, which, you know, if you've been to any theater, anywhere, you know, in Raleigh or wherever you might live, it sort of looks and feels the same way. You've got the hallway going in, you have the trash cans to dispose of your things uh, as you're on your way out from your popcorn and your drinks. But this is uh, the theater at Campbell University. <gasps> oh, and we already have two visitors in here getting ready for the show. Wow. <laughs> How many seats are in this theater? Okay, Brent? so uh, there are 14 rows, 200 seats in this uh, in this theater. Uh, the screen that is up here drops in front of the windows, and the curtains just open. The screen is 20 feet by 40 feet. Uh, we will have uh, we will have new run films here. You don't have to go to Raleigh or to Fayetteville or to Cary or anywhere else. Um, as students here, this is complimentary for you and your experience at Campbell University. But this is a, a multifunction space. The curtains do open. You can see academic circle behind me. And uh, this is a space where we'll have guest speakers and other performances. So it's not just movies. It's a little bit of everything. But I'm really excited for everybody to come and see a movie here because uh, you know, an action film, an Avengers film, a Star Wars type type film, the sound system in here is awesome. It will be rocking in here. So yeah. we're glad to show this off. Yes. Matthew Prisable is asking, uh, what is the price to attend a movie here for students? The price to attend to movie, uh, to attend a movie here, uh, Matthew, is the price of your being a student here at Campbell. There is no additional charge. Though you will have to buy your popcorn and your soda or whatever you choose at the uh, at the refreshment stand. And at that refreshment stand, yeah. uh, will they be able to use Camel Bucks and swipe their card? Absolutely. Great. That's Cash, awesome. Camel Bucks, swipe your card. Absolutely. Yes, of course. And this is a specific one from Dakota Morrow, but how often will movies be played? Dakota? I don't have the answer to that question, <laughs> and that's a great question. I don't want to answer that one in an uninformed way, but I do know that Campbell has a, uh, we have a contract with a vendor that, uh, that uh, you know, shows sort of late run movies and it'll be on a rotating basis. So uh, that's one that we'll have to post later as we get the answer okay. to that. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as we have info on how tickets will work, um, any alumni access nights, anything like that, we will let you guys know. But. What do you we're going to show this view. Gaylord, what do you think? Can we do a movie in here? Absolutely. <laughs> that looks like a yes. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks for visiting Britain. this area. Dr. Davis, thank you so much for Absolutely. joining the theater. We really appreciate it. Man, I cannot get over these views. Yeah. Um, it's just a tremendous view of Academic Circle once again. You can see every building in Academic Circle. 
and it truly just shows how magnificent our campus is. It's really like, We're inspirational. We're so thrilled that we kept this beautiful tree. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of questions about faculty, staff attending movies and guests attending movies. We are going to ask, and as soon as we find out, we'll be sure to post about it. I think the students want adults. Yeah, I can't imagine. <laughs> we might have separate students. nights for that, but I think Sorry, student Mom, nights will probably be separate from alumni, faculty, staff, right. etc. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we're just going to walk back through. And like Aaron was saying, this, this uh, view literally goes throughout the entire second floor, which is just beautiful beautiful to me. And so if your friends wanted to lounge and just chill and just do nothing for a whole hour, you can definitely do that. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to walk into this beautiful uh, ballroom. Hi. Wow. Hello, family. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, take it all in. Take it all Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to your Campbell University Student Union Ballroom. I am Marsha McCoy, the Alumni Board of Directors President, and I want to welcome you back home. This ballroom is a game changer for Campbell University. We have so many different options, including dancing, as you probably can see behind me. But with this ballroom, it is able to seat over 800 people. And it can actually be broken down into three separate dividers. Yeah, that's right, pan with me, pan with me. <laughs> we have this section over there where you see the chairs that are actually set up. We can set it up such so that we can have enough people there, but then we can also have this middle section open, and then of course we can set it up on the third section. With each of these sections, we're also able to project an image. We have projectors located at the rear of each section so that when someone is speaking at the middle podium, we are able to have projectors shown on the two side panel areas. This is a gorgeous location for conferences, career fairs, service opportunities. There's just so much potential with our ballroom. And as you can see, we're here in the daylight, but if you're a fan around, we have a gorgeous view, even for the nights, for the mm. evenings. Whenever we have to project things, we can lower a shade, but we do have a gorgeous view of academic we have a pre-event area that we can use for anything taking place. Whether we open the space up large or we break it down into the thirds, Campbell University has many, many options. And we are excited about having various different alumni events, welcoming you back to campus. I mean, there are even dining services through those back doors. Now, don't go if you're not authorized. <laughs> but we have so many options available with this ballroom or even three different ballrooms that can happen at the same time. So we look forward to having you alumni to come back here on campus and enjoy this space with us because it's the place to be <laughs> with my Camille. <laughs> oh, Until man. next time, I'm Marsha McCoy. Have fun on your tour, and I look forward to seeing you dressed in your best. So this is not a question, Mar Mar Marsha, but a lot of people are coming that you look fabulous today. Well, this is the ballroom. I, I want to make sure I was dressed <laughs> Campbell ready because I love my CU all the way through. Wow, that was Thank perfect. You. Thank I just, you. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm Campbell. Campbell proud, baby. <laughs> Thank you for showing us the ball. Thank you, so Thank you all so it. much. Thank you, Gaylord. Thank you, Gladys. This all is just such a wonderful space. It seats over 800 uh, students, which is just amazing. Yep. Um, it's ginormous. I don't know if the camera does it justice. Yep. Probably and I'm not. just about to become an alumni, so I'm very excited to like come back and be a part of the alumni family and actually be able to use this ballroom. So pretty Definitely. exciting. We're gonna head through this way and see our student life offices. Have Check some out. elevators, just yep, to shout out to elevators the elevators. Elevators over on the other side. Of the <laughs> As you can see over here, that we have some uh, conference room. This conference room is quite large. You can fit you know, quite a few people in it. Um, state of the art conference room with many TVs also. But we're gonna go this way and check out the student life offices with Kristen. Hey, Kristen, how are you? Hey, I'm so How are you? So this is our student involvement area. Can I go in? Thank you. And so we have this little space right here, which is de designated for our international students that they can use. And as you go along this wall, we will have spaces for Greek life, the Pan Panhellenic people. We have offices for SGA and CAB all the way down. And then along this wall, we have offices for our GAs. 
um, they have really great views and everything. <laughs> and then in the middle, this is areas where all the different student organizations can come work. They can, um, if they have meetings, we have a few a conference rooms and meetings rooms designated in this like in this area of the student union. Super excited for these. Awesome. Yes. Thank you, Kristen. This is a really exciting space. And just like our conference rooms down, downstairs, mm -hmm. clubs and organizations can come to these meeting rooms and actually reserve the rooms through those digital screens, which is pretty cool. We're very excited about that. Awesome. Yeah, looks it great. Is very nice space. All right. This means we're almost done. Yeah, a lot of questions about parking. But, yeah. Um, just to reiterate, this is a space for student organizations. This right. is where they will meet and they yeah. work. Many offices here, large meeting rooms here. Um, yeah. I would say that these rooms will mainly not be used for studying or anything. It's going to be for those SGA meetings, those CAB meetings. Um, so the main study rooms will be downstairs, and that's where students can go and reserve those rooms when they want to study. And a lot of students do, jo do join clubs and organizations. So if you join any type of club or organization on campus, you will be able to use these for any type of meetings that you need. Yes. And all of these meeting spaces do apply to commuting students as well. One of the biggest goals we had with this student union was making this feel like a place that you could stay and you could spend time. Um, we're going to update you on the hours as soon as possible, but I would expect students to be able to spend quite a lot of time after class here. This is going to be definitely the largest uh, space we have for resources for people to use after class. So Beth Hopkins says, that's not a question, but she says her incoming freshman is going to love this. So I'm going to ask Aaron and Brittany, you're seniors. And, and uh, senior. how do you guys, uh, I'm sorry. You're yeah, almost a You're not a senior, I'm sorry, but Brittany, you're a senior. How do you feel about uh, being a senior and this, this uh, coming to fruition? Yeah. Um, I really have felt like I've lived through everything because I I was here when Baldwin and Kitchen were still like up. So like when I was a freshman, we would just chill in Baldwin, and when they uh, when they tore all that down, I was like, oh yeah, they're about to build something great. And I'm pretty excited that they built this uh, building. Um, I'm about to graduate senior. He's about to be a senior. Like we're I already finished my senior year. <laughs> uh, so it's kind of sad that I won't be able to like come in, but I'm definitely excited to just come back and like I said, use the ballroom, come in here and meet some of my friends that are still um, at, in college and like come in come into some of their meetings and stuff like that. So yeah. I'm kind of, ha I'm happy that they finally finished building the studio. Yeah. yeah. And I have one more year and I'm going to soak it in as much as I can to just enjoy yeah. every moment of this building. <laughs> yeah. And I'm probably going to look at some graduate programs also. Might as well stick <laughs> around, you know? Honestly. Yeah. All Why right. Not? Well, Kristen, thank you once again for showing Thanks us these offices and, and these rooms. We're going to um, go through this, this doorway, yep. go down the staircase and answer any more questions that you guys have. We have a question about the hours of the student union. I believe it will be open around the clock, am I correct? The building, yes. The building, there yes. might be spaces. Mm -hmm. Right. The 24-hour fitness center is certain. Uh, the meeting rooms, I'm not quite sure about the meeting rooms reservations. There might be a cutoff to that. We'll ask Randall. Let's ask Randall. Let's ask Randall. <laughs> hey, Randall. Hello. We're putting Randall very this much Randall on the Johnson. spot. He's the All director right. of the student union, and Anna Bowles. She is the assistant. assistant <laughs> um, we're getting a lot of questions that we didn't think we'd get today, such as uh, hours for the student union. Right now, the hours have not been really set. Uh, initial conversations was maybe 6 a.m. to midnight, but nothing has been definitely decided yet. Great, so we'll keep you posted. Awesome. All right, we have a lot of requests to see the second floor of the fitness center. Would you all mind taking a peek in there before we head down the stairs? Yeah, Randall, can you show us? Sure. Thanks, Randall. <laughs> Randall will never forgive us for this. <laughs> Nothing like being put on the spot. Nothing like it. <laughs> Katrina says hi, though. <laughs> Perfect. All right, second floor of the fitness center. Like I said, downstairs, it's literally the same format as downstairs, just different types of equipment. So we have the treadmill, ellipticals. Um, <laughs> a demonstration <laughs> for who has no, pledged like to work bad, out at 6 so. a.m. every day. <laughs> very, very good area to just work out. So. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Here, we'll show them this room. We like the views. We like being able to see the water tower. Great. And one great thing about this room is that there's a lot of like airflow in it. Um, we didn't show you, but downstairs in the group X room, 
there's actually large ceiling fans at the top of the room that will help ventilate air. Yep. Um, I know that was a complaint that some students had in Holding Fitness Center and Carter Gym, just that there was a lack of airflow. You will not see that in this building. Um, mm -hmm. There's great airflow just throughout it, which is gonna help it stay nice and cool as students work out. Great, All right. second floor. All right. We're gonna go back to the staircase. This is pretty cool. If you look over on this side and on that side, you'll see these LED lights. And they are LED light strips that go all the way up. And they're white lights. They'll stay on from dusk to dawn of every school night. So we're really excited about that. They aren't on yet, but they will be on during the fall. Um, so we're just really excited about that. It really helps the building stand out. Right. And it really just adds a glow to it, quite literally. More, right, yeah. and just more lighting on campus in general. We're gonna have to show them this tower. It looks beautiful from the outside at night. Uh, Ten-year-old Haley asks, um, how much orange paint was used on this <laughs> building? Her last name is Liggett. I'm not sure if I know. <laughs> uh, how much, how much orange paint was used in this facility? We do have the statistics on file, but I do not have them in my head. But we know the number of bricks, how much cement, uh, but I do not have those memorized. We'll send it to you, Haley. <laughs> <laughs> All awesome. right. Continuing All on. right, we're going to go back through the Great Hall to the front of the building. Well, we're going to this side. <laughs> we're going to see the sign that's in front of the building. I'm pretty excited. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. stream today or you only caught part of it the live stream will be put on Campbell University's YouTube page which will be linked to the Facebook page as well so you'll be able to see it in a few hours that should go up um, yep. and well we just want to thank you guys yeah. for coming on the tour with us um, we love the inside I hope you guys are um, ready to come back in the fall and actually come inside and use all of the resources in the student union um, I know I'm about to graduate like I've been saying but you know I'm coming back regardless um, it's, yeah. and I'm very very excited for those students who are coming back in the fall you're going to be excited too once you see this building. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is amazing. And we're just ready to use it. Yep. So thank you All for right. coming with thank us. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for being our tour guide. Yeah. Go Camels. Go Camels. Go Camels. <laughs>